Thank you, Chairperson. Like I suppose all TDs, Minister, are in here. Every weekend, my clinics are full of people looking for help with housing. Families who work hard but will never be able to afford to purchase a home of their own. Families who don't qualify for any state help. These are the people who are falling between the cracks. Uh, the government's housing for all plan is nothing more than a rebranding of the old Fine Gael policies and does nothing constructive to tackle pressures in the rental market in the short term or address long term supply needs and does absolutely nothing to tackle the exorbitant taxation being charged on small Irish landlords. Instead, the policy only favours the large institutional investor model. A functioning housing policy must include the following. All tenants should have access to good quality, safe and secure home. All tenants should be able to treat their, home as their, uh, treat their house as their home and be empowered to challenge poor practice. All landlords should have information on how to comply with their responsibilities and be able to re repossess their properties when necessary. Landlords and tenants should be supported uh, by a system that enables effective resolution of issues. Local councils should have strong and effective enforcement tools to crack down on poor practice. Council must get uh, back to the model of building social housing currently. This is not occurring on the ground. Currently, more than half of the households that rent their homes receive some form of state support. A recent ESRI report shows that almost 300,000 households receive support uh, for their housing costs in 2020, up to 134,000 this was in 1994. This works out as 16% of Irish households overall and 54% of all renters. This support comes in the form of a combination of housing assistance payment HAP, rental accommodation uh, scheme RAS, uh, and rent supplements used to assist one in three supported renters today, compared to one in five in the early 1990s. 